Hey, what's going on everyone? It's me, Under the Kissing here. Where welcome back to another video. And today I was showing you guys how to make this sort of, you know, glowy looking type of clip that heavily inspired by Donja or some indie clan videos. I mean, it's look pretty cool. And my ears are jabbing about something around about Artifact. It's like a ton now because seriously, it's been a very, very long time since the last time I teach you guys about Artifact. So we are any further ado. Let's get right into it. So here, I will create a fresh new composition, Ctrl K on the keyboard, name this one main, this one gonna be the base layer, so I'm gonna be going to add Lumetri color into it. This one is pretty self-explaining, so I'm not gonna be going to be explain <laughs> what you want about this, so this one gonna be minus 150, this one around 55, basically make some sort of pink color. Now it's a little bit too bright and low contrast, so we're just gonna set this one to 45, this one minus 100, minus 25, this one 25, and this one minus 25. It's pretty self-explaining, adding more contrast and give it a teen color. Then we add a curve to basically boosting up the contrast and make it darker, scene. yeah. We need a very dark base layer. Then furthermore, add brightness and contrast to boot the brightness of the entire clip down. Now we're gonna enhance the the outline by using mbot signy mbot signy so it's make the footage darker so we bring the brightness back to 1.4 bump scale to 0.2 to make it less and the high night sign may be 0.7 now next we're going to be going to add another we duplicate the original clip move it up and we'll call this one sweet glow and delete every single effect here okay so first we're gonna add motion detect it's nice um five each effects but it's not a little bit better i think so we put this one to minus point one to remove some details then we add the color by using some cloud color smooth we put the mode on the combine to multiply and now for the frequency we add this one to four octave to two um saturation to three so the, here's basically how it's gonna look now it's let linear and a lot you know more colorful this is exactly what i want and next we're gonna add some hue and saturation in case you want to change the color or basically just colorize them into a single color so i'm not gonna use now so i'm just temporarily disable it next we're gonna add some bcc sweet glow so here it is and add some unmute effects in order to make it you know remove the duck section we might put this one on top here okay so when we're done with this we're gonna add some deep glow into the footage put this one to two and might be put the radius up okay so once you're done with this we're gonna duplicate the sweet glow and we're just gonna delete the deep glow and the switch glow because we're gonna be going to replace this one with optical glow. So in optical glow, put it on to 19, the side is around 200 and put this one down, I will name this one optical glow. Okay, so we will put this one up and put this mode to overlay or oh yeah we, can, we should put the suite up and put this one to overlay to basically put, make it into this sort of look okay so um this one is a little bit dark so i think i will move the unmute layer on top of those things so yeah here it is it's look a little bit better now so put this one to two and then we break on both two of those things i will name this one in, into glow and this one is optional, but I want to enable it. So the last thing here we're going to do is to boot the glow layer to screen mode. So we got some glow now. It's time to make some heat wave. So for the heat wave, we duplicate the glow once again. But this time we're going to be going to put this one as a new mat layer. All right. So now we duplicate the original clip once again, put this one up and name this one as Luma mat. Yeah, I misspelled this shit once again, bro. It's very neat right now, honestly. So, on this clip, we delete every single thing. We put this one to teen to make it black and white. Level to strengthen up this effect. 
and Gaussian blur to make the session blurry. Just like this, it's good enough. So once you're done with that, we're gonna control and Alt Y on the keyboard. Now we move this one down and we add some heat destruction effect into this one. Now for the take mat, I'm gonna put this one into the composition that we just created. And now it's gonna be only effect the bright section, but I want to invert it to make the dark section got some destruction. I mean some distortion. Bro, seriously, it's so fucking net right now and I'm like literally choking, bro. So for the large scale, I will set this one to 170. And on the advanced option for the sharplet, I will put this one to 20 to make it sub and put the speed to 0.3. Once you're done with that, we're gonna add some final thing. It is some RSMB. This one is a key effect because it's make everything looking smeary, sure everything like that. So once you've done that, you can easily control the destruction effects on this footage right there. But as you can see now, it's not really affect the entire thing because we now add this one in alpha mode. So when you click on this, we can numa mode is we're showing up something just like this. We get exactly what we want right now. So when everything is done, finally, we're going to add another adjustment layer, add some look into this and it's time to do some color correction so first thing first i will add some haze into this one and for the haze i will put this one to cool haze and put the spoilage up the sublet all the way down the rigs and every single thing it's pretty optional you know this one is optional so i might set this one as we like So yeah, I might put this one to point minus point one. And next, we're gonna add some mojo into the footage, making it a lot better. Then we're gonna add some clarity to, it's basically in a sharp net effect. Put this one around 30, it's good. Then some chromatic aberration, put it over there. Put the red and cyan to two. To make it have some distortion then um, the combo it is the vignette and some eight shop so yeah we put this one for those in here for the vignette we put it around this with the string a little bit up same thing with this put the string down and finally some noise over there so for the noise i will put this one to let's see sedan chase sedan chase okay it's look everything crispy and that's exactly what we want and yeah that's basically all about it so here's how to make this sort of cc it's, it's look pretty good cool, especially for some action shots so really hope you guys enjoyed this video and Please suggest any idea because I have some free time next month, so I'm probably gonna make around 10 more videos in a month, which is absolute fucking crazy. So, yeah, thank you so much for watching, and see you guys next time.